Hello everybody, welcome back. If you know me, you know that I love multitasking and I love things that have several different purposes, including this bread recipe. So today we're going to be using the same recipe that makes this bread and we're going to be making pecan sticky buns. Look at this. If you like ooey gooey, sticky and deliciousness, then you're going to love this recipe. And let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make these today. Now, if you have not seen this video, I'm going to link it down in the description box below. It shows you how to make two loaves of bread from one easy dough. We're using that same exact dough and I have proofed the dough. I've letting it risen the first time and we are picking up right here. I'm going to just stretch this dough out and I'm going to separate it right in half. Now from the first half, I'm going to make my bread for the week. So I'm just going to shape that right into the loaf shape and put that into my bread loaf pan. Now tonight we're making spaghetti. So I'm going to show you something a little extra in this video. <laughs> I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to cut off a small little smidgen of this dough and I'm going to make a mini French bread loaf so I can cut this up and make some little garlic uh, toast with our supper tonight. So I'm just going to form this into a mini French loaf and put that onto a baking sheet. I'm going to let that rise right along with my bread. off to the side that goes and with the remaining dough I'm going to stretch this out here on my table into a rectangle shape. Then I'm going to use a rolling pin and just roll this out nice and flat. I'd say this dough is rolled out to about a quarter of an inch thick. Nice and flat, nice and big. I'm going to try to keep that rectangle shape the best I can. So you'll see I'm going to stretch out the sides to make them pretty even all the way around. Y'all, this is so easy. I can't believe this is the same dough that makes the bread. <laughs> now in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix one third cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And I'm just going to give that a good little stir. The awesome thing is, is that you probably have all the things you need to make these rolls already. You might have to go get some pecans like I had to do. <laughs> We're going to spread out the cinnamon and sugar right over top of our dough and just evenly spread that out all the way edge to edge and then we're going to start rolling this up and I like to roll mine up starting with the short side it just gives me more swirls inside my little buns so we're just going to tightly roll that up all the way from one side to the other now if you have some dental floss close by uh, that would cut this much uh, prettier than my little chopper from the Dollar Tree. But I did not bring the dental floss downstairs. So I'm just using my little Dollar Tree chopper. And we're going to separate this dough into equal sections. Equal size little rolls. We're going to put that into a 9 by 9 inch baking pan that has been buttered. Okay. You can use a little bit of a smaller uh, dish if you want to, but these are going to rise a lot. So having the extra space is nice. We're just going to put all of these rolls in and we're going to let them rise for about 30 minutes. Now you can cover this with saran wrap and put this in your fridge and pull them out 30 minutes before you want to bake them the next day. They're still fantastic. I'm just going to cover this and let them rise for about 30 minutes. Now while that's rising, I've been letting my loaf of bread and my little mini French loaf rise. I'm going to take an egg 
and about two tablespoons of water. Thin out that egg and make a little egg wash. Wait till you see this bread. It is so pretty when I bring it over. <laughs> So here's my loaf of bread and here's my little French bread loaf. Didn't that proof up really pretty? I'm just going to do a simple little egg wash on this French bread and make it nice and shiny brown. Now I'm going to bake this according to the same directions. Um, 350. The bread will go in for about 28, 30 minutes. But the little mini French loaf only took about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and let it start cooling off. Isn't that pretty? Do you see that? Little shiny French bread. I cut this up in like diagonal little slices and made garlic toast with our spaghetti. Now the bread's just going to go back in and finish baking. Look at my little French loaf. This also makes good sandwiches. I've done this and made little hoagies. So there's just like another little extra bonus idea for you from the same bread dough. Now while the rolls are rising, once they are risen after 30 minutes, we're going to take a stick of butter. Now I'm using salted, but you can certainly use unsalted butter as well. You're going to melt this butter down in a saucepan until it is all melted. You just keep stirring it and melting that butter. Certainly if you're watching your salt intake, use the unsalted butter and you could also even omit the salt in the bread recipe. I'm going to link this bread recipe dough um, down in the description box. I think I already said that. <laughs> Just in case you missed that video. Once the butter is melted, we're going to add to that two cups of brown sugar. Now we're going to stay close by and stir in this brown sugar. And we're just going to keep stirring and keeping an eye on it. We want that brown sugar to get melted and incorporated with the butter but we don't want the sugar to burn so we're just going to keep an eye on it and then today i'm adding half of a cup of chopped pecans now this is the part where you could make these without the pecans you might even switch up the type of nuts you add or you could leave them all out they would still be delicious we're going to keep stirring the brown sugar. I'm waiting for it to get bubbly. And you'll notice here in just a second, the brown sugar tends to get these lighter brown bubbles throughout the entire pot. Doesn't that look so good? The house already smells amazing. <laughs> Just from baking the bread, right? Now we have this brown sugar melting and the house just smells like a candle. <laughs> that is about the consistency we're looking for. All those light brown bubbles. We're gonna turn off that heat and then stir in the nuts. Again, you want to do this when your rolls have risen, okay? Because uh, this is going to be the last thing you do right before this goes into the oven. So while that stays nice and hot, we're going to pull over the rolls. Don't they look so good already? They've already risen quite a bit, but you're going to see here in a minute, they rise even more in the oven. We're going to pour the brown sugar and pecan mixture right over top. And when this bakes, that brown sugar is going to melt all down between each one of the buns and into the layers. 
So I'm not going to worry about really spreading this out. It's going to do its thing in the oven. Now we're going to put this in an oven that's uh, preheated to 350. Depending on your oven and depending on the day, you want to start checking around 20 minutes. Usually it takes between 25 and 30 minutes. Today it only took about 25 minutes. Here they are um, in the oven and I just had to show you. Look how much they've risen. <laughs> you can see the brown sugar bubbling. I could have probably taken them out right at this point, but we kind of like them a little bit more toasted on the top. So I'm going to leave them in. But doesn't that just look so good? And here they are. This was 25 minutes. They're more, it's more toasted on the top. Be so careful. That brown sugar is so hot. You can see it bubbling. You should probably wait until these cool off for the most part, but I just can't wait y'all. I always like to have one straight out of the oven. So I'm going to get a fork and just separate one of these buns. Look at all of that ooey gooeyness. <laughs> now, I've been making these about once a week. And I shared them with my parents and we share them with the neighbors. So we don't eat all of these. Uh, by ourselves. So I certainly don't feel guilty once a week having uh, a sticky bun. <laughs> and I really feel like, you know, we work so hard and we should have some sweet little treats, right? So here it is. And one of the reasons why I love using the bread dough is because the dough is not mushy. It is the perfect consistency and you can unroll these sticky buns all the way to the center. And that dough is not mushy. It is the perfect consistency and it's sticky and sweet all the way to the center. And that center part right there, that's my favorite part. <laughs> and I'm just going to give them a taste test while it's still nice and hot. I hope you make some of these. And if you do, I would love to hear your comments down below. Have fun with this recipe. It is so versatile. Who knows all the different things you could make with it. But I hope you give these pecan sticky buns a try. Grab your recipe down in the description box. I'd love to hear from you. And until I see you uh, the next time, y'all be safe. Bye, everybody. <laughs>